Nashville, Tennessee, March 13th, 2020. In the early morning hours, construction workers arriving to an ongoing project notice a white Acura sedan in the tree line adjacent to a temporary gravel road used to access the site. Fearing someone needed help, they exited their truck and approached the incapacitated vehicle. What they found wasn't a motorist in distress, but a homicide scene. Detectives from the Metro Nashville Police Department were able to confirm the identities of the victims as 33-year-old Holly Williams and 36-year-old William Lamway. Despite a tumultuous relationship between Williams and Lamway, rife with domestic violence incidents, investigators assessing the scene were quickly able to dismiss the theory of a murder-suicide due to the nature of the gunshot wounds, along with the fact that there was no weapon on the scene. Williams and Lanway were discovered to have an apartment nearby where they both lived. Investigators obtained and executed the search warrant of the apartment, wherein a security camera was recovered. As the footage of the camera was analyzed, a significant event was discovered on the device's storage. In the days prior to the homicide, Williams and Lanway's apartment was visited by three men dressed in black. Though the full video was not released to the public, the MNPD would note the men suspiciously took action to cover the camera's lens after realizing its presence. Though the details have not been released to the public, one could surmise that all communications devices and identified electronic communications accounts related to Williams and Landway were subject to an intensive forensic investigation, which is likely how a relationship between Williams and Texas auto sales tycoon Eric Mond was discovered. Eric Mond, executive of Mond Auto Group, founded by his grandfather Charles Mond, operates several large new and used automotive sales dealerships in the Austin, Texas area. Mond had been known to travel to Nashville, Tennessee on occasion. The now unsealed indictment details that in early November 2020, Mond emailed Williams, whom he had a prior relationship with, and scheduled a meeting with Williams during his visit. Following his return to Austin, Mond began receiving text messages from William Lanway, Holly Williams' long-term boyfriend. The text messages received by Mond demanded monetary compensation to be paid to Williams and Lanway, or the nature of the relationship between Williams and Mond would be exposed to Mond's family and the public a textbook case of extortion. Mond, having no intention of paying Williams and Landway, contacted Gawad Paled, CEO of Speartip Security Group. Paled, a self-purported 28-year veteran of the Israeli Defense Forces, markets Speartip Security Group as a provider of top-level security services, specializing in executive protection, estate security, and loss prevention. Speartip further describes itself as offering the ultimate defense from any threat and a willingness to take necessary measures to protect you and your people. Though unconfirmed, it is rumored that Paled had a long-standing relationship with Mond, established by providing Speartip's more standard security services to the Mond Auto Group's retail locations. Paled quickly began to assemble a team for the task of putting a terminal halt to Mond's extortion troubles. Enter Brian Brockway and Adam Carey. Brian Brockway served in the United States Marine Corps as an active duty Marine from 1995 to 2000, and then the Marine Corps Reserves from 2000 to 2006. He was last assigned to 4th Force Reconnaissance Company, 4th Marine Division, in Reno, Nevada. Force Recon is a special operations capable unit focused on direct action and often attached to Marine Expeditionary Units. The details of Brockway's service seem pretty straightforward, but Pleds are still in question. Jack Murphy, former U.S. Army Ranger and Green Beret, and current writer, investigative journalist, and well-connected member of the Special Ops community, published an article on December 14, 2021, detailing information received by an anonymous source stating that Paled and Brockway's relationship was established when both were employed as contractors for the CIA's Global Response Staff, a security element for CIA operations worldwide. A cryptic entry on Brockway's LinkedIn account along with international claims made by Paled on Speartip's website, may lend credibility to these claims. Adam Carey, also a former active duty Marine from 2009 to 2017, served as a critical skills operator in the 3rd Marine Raider Battalion. In 2016, Carey was observed operating an unmarked Dodge Charger with red flashing lights and pulling over a motorist by an on-duty North Carolina Highway Patrol trooper. The trooper initiated contact with Carey, determined he was not a law enforcement officer, and placed him under arrest for impersonation of a peace officer. A search of Carey's Dodge Charger yielded an EMT's badge, several handguns and rifles equipped with suppressors, three flashbang grenades, ammunition, handcuffs, and body armor. Carey was honorably discharged from the Marine Corps in 2017 
prior to the conclusion of the legal battle relating to his charges, in which he was found guilty of possession of a weapon of mass destruction and impersonation of a peace officer. Kerry served four months of his sentence with the North Carolina Department of Corrections and the remainder on special probation. Kerry also lost his federal firearms license during his legal bout, which he was using prior to his arrest to run a firearm sales business under the name Achilles Shield Firearms. In early March, Brockway and Kerry arrived in Nashville and conducted surveillance of Holly Williams and William Lamway. During this time frame, the crew also created an account with Pinger, a U.S. telecom provider for free text, phone call, and voicemail services, which they utilized to communicate with Williams and Lanway. The context of those communications is unknown at this time. On March 9, 2020, Poled received a document entitled Tennessee SIP Rep, which stated that Kerry and others had surveilled Williams, confirmed her address and vehicle, and also confirmed that Lanway had been staying at the same address. The crew then advised that they would use everything at their disposal to stop the attempted extortion of Mond. On March 11, 2020, Poled deposited $8,000 cash into Spear Tip Security's business account and $7,000 in cash into his personal bank account. The following day, Mond transferred $150,000 via wire from his bank account to a bank account controlled by Poled. On that same day, Brockway and Carey, armed with firearms, confronted Williams and Lanway in the parking lot of Williams' apartment. Lanway was shot and killed on sight. They then kidnapped Williams, took her car, drove her and the body of Lanway to a construction site on nearby Old Hickory Boulevard, where they murdered Williams by shooting her several times. The bodies were then discarded at the construction site, and within hours of the murders, the Pinger account used to communicate was deleted and a rail car rented by Brockway was returned. Carey then drove Brockway to Memphis, Tennessee, and Brockway caught a flight to Austin, Texas. Carey then drove to Austin from Memphis. The now unsealed indictment also alleges that between March 11, 2020 and the present, Mon transferred in excess of $750,000 via wire from his bank account to an account controlled by Poled, as payment to Poled, Brockway, and Carey for the kidnapping and murder of Williams and Lanway. Though Mond was certainly a man of means, one may wonder how he was able to expend near $1 million on a murder-for-hire scheme without raising red flags to those around him. Did he have money stashed away for just such an occurrence? Or was he able to exploit an international crisis to cover his losses? According to the federal indictment, Mond's payments to Pled would have totaled over $900,000. Perhaps it's mere coincidence that Mond Auto Group, a company with multi-million dollar revenues from each of its five retail locations, was approved for a PPP loan of $909,500 on April 7, 2020, less than a month after the murders of Williams and Lanway. On December 7, 2021, mere days before the arrest warrants for Mond, Bled, Brockway, and Kerry were served by the FBI and Metro Nashville Police Department, Mond posted the Google review of Spear Tip Security Services, in which he heavily praises the company for its professionalism. Brockway was also observed as having left a review for Spear Tip several months after the murders in which he proclaimed the company immediately covered his needs. Additionally, Brockway's publicly viewable Facebook profile was the source of one particularly foreshadowing comment from over four years ago, in which a friend seems to deride Brockway's business endeavors. Mon, Poled, Brockway, and Carey are currently awaiting transfer to Nashville, Tennessee by the U.S. Marshal Service in order to begin the legal process in the prosecuting jurisdiction. If you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.